Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. We honor him this morning. Today is a day of reflection. Hallelujah. A day which we remember when he was on the cross. Hallelujah. I was on his mind. Hallelujah. And our theme for today said, just for me, Jesus died. I want you to just personalize that. And just say, just for Joel, Jesus died. Call your name. Just, and just believe it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Just think about it. A king died for a sinner like Joel. Hallelujah. Come on. Let's just think about that. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. It was because of his love. Hallelujah. And we owe it all to him this morning just to give him praise. Come on, somebody, lift your hands and praise the Lord. Somebody shout, thank you, Jesus. Come on, shout, thank you, Hallelujah. Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Praise God. Thank praise Jesus. God. Thank praise you, Jesus. God. Praise God. Praise One writer God. said, such love. Hallelujah. One writer said, such love, such wondrous love that God could love a sinner such as I. And I take it further that he could die for me. I am grateful this morning. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I am proud to say that I am grateful this morning. Hallelujah. For the Savior. He died for me. Thank you, Jesus. Welcome to our Good Friday service. We are going to praise the Lord this morning. And like I said before, it's a service of reflection. Hallelujah. When we remember what the Lord has done for us, he went to Calvary to pay for our sins. And we just want to give him thanks this morning. We're going to start by singing hymn number eight. Hymn number eight from the Pentecostal hymnal, The Old Rugged Cross. Praise On God. a hill far away stood an old rugged cross the emblem of suffering and shame and I love
Hallelujah. Thank you for your cross, Lord. Thank you for the blood you shed, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. I glorify you this morning, Jesus. You deserve the praise. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus. He endured the cross. Hallelujah. Because he knew that today, hallelujah, I would be in need of a savior. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. He endured the cross, hallelujah. Because he knew, mighty God, that we would be discouraged, hallelujah. He endured the cross, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Because he knew, mighty God, that we could not pay for our sins. Thank you, Jesus. I am grateful this morning. With a heart of gratitude, I bless your name, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. And we are going to talk to the Lord this morning in prayer. Thank you, Jesus. I'm just going to ask Brother Client to come. And he's going to lead us in prayer. Hallelujah. We are just going to just give the Lord all the praise that he deserves. Let's forget about who who we are standing beside. Let's forget about what we are going to eat. Hallelujah. Let us just reflect on the goodness. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah. Can we just lift our hands? Hallelujah. Oh God, hallelujah. Let's just lift our hands. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah. You're worthy, Lord. You're awesome, God. Hallelujah. You're great. Hallelujah. There's none like unto you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. There's none beside you, Lord. Hallelujah. You're worthy. Oh God, you're worthy in this place. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Jesus. Let's just bow our heads right now and lift up our voices. Our God and our Father, you are indeed worthy to be praised, Lord. Hallelujah. We know you are in this place, Jesus. Hallelujah. We can feel your presence, mighty God. Hallelujah. Father, we ask you even now, God. Hallelujah. That your anointing, my God, will be poured out in this house today. We pray, O oh God, and ask for your grace, Heavenly Father, hallelujah, to be upon this congregation right now, to be upon this service right now, hallelujah. Heavenly Father, we submit ourselves to you right now, God. We ask, Father, that you will take charge of this service. We ask, mighty God, that your will be done in this house today. Lord Jesus, Father, we ask, mighty God, hallelujah, that we will humble ourselves, oh God, right now, hallelujah, Father, and allow, my God, your anointing and allow Lord Jesus Christ your presence oh God and your words to fill this house Lord Jesus Christ we thank you mighty God for those that are here we pray God a special blessing go forth upon them right now we pray mighty God that your spirit will move through this auditorium my God and touch those that are amongst us my God those that are weak in body troubled in mind oh God God, we pray right now, Heavenly Father, that the strength of the Holy Ghost will grip and strengthen them, mighty God. We pray in your name, Lord Jesus Christ, that you will give strength, oh God, to your musicians, to your praise team, to the moderator, to the one who will bring forth your words. We take apostolic authority over everything that will
will be said and done right now in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. We declare your power. We ask God that your anointing and your words will go forth today with power and with clarity. We pray, oh God, that the hearts of your people, oh God, will be pierced by the power of your words. We pray, my God, that it will bring forth conviction. We pray, oh God, that it will lead us to repentance. We pray, oh God, that it will pull us and draw us, oh God, into a closer walk and relationship with you this morning, mighty God. We pray especially for those, God, who have not come to know you as their Lord and Savior. If there be such a one in this house today, we pray, God, that their lives will be changed and will be transformed by the power of your Spirit. We pray, God, that they will not leave the same way they came, but, God, that today, Lord Jesus Christ, you will translate them into the kingdom of your dear son. My God, we ask that they will put on the name of Jesus Christ in water baptism. We pray, oh God, that they will be filled with the power of the Holy Ghost. We pray, oh God, that there will be conviction, that there will be power in your house today, mighty God. Let your will be done right now, God. As we commit everything into your hands, we ask you now to take charge. We pray against everything that will come to hinder and to distract the move of your spirit. Oh God, we rebuke it now. We take apostolic authority. We drive it out now. Every spirit of distraction, God, we command it to leave now. We pray, oh God, that the enemy will be powerless in this place, God. We ask right now, in the name of Jesus Christ, that your church will have the victory. Let the ministry of the church be effective today. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, we give you the honor, we give you the praise. Just put your hands together and thank him for the victory right now. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. We worship you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Just for me, Jesus died. Hallelujah. That should put a smile on our faces. Right, Sister Kenesha? Hallelujah. Somebody show thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. We'll be having the reading of the scripture at this time. I'm going to ask everyone if you're able to stand, please stand. And I ask that no movement, no unnecessary movement in the sanctuary. While Deacon Kennedy will read the scripture for today. St. Matthew 27, verses 15 to 54. Praise the Lord, everybody. We're reading in your hearing as follow in your Bibles. But while you read today, follow in your Bibles with me. Just remember, as you hear the word of God, that Jesus went all the way. We're going to read some stuff. He could have called 10,000 angels. He could have stopped part way. But such love, such wondrous love. So as you read today, remember that he bore it all for you, for me. He went all the way. My God. Now at that feast, starting from verse 15, now at that feast the governor was warned to release unto the people a prisoner whom they would. And they had then a notable prisoner called Barabbas. Therefore, when they were gathered together, Pilate said unto them, Whom will he that I release unto you? Barabbas or Jesus, which is called Christ? For he knew that for envy they had delivered him. When he was set down on the judgment seat, his wife sent unto him, saying, Have thou nothing to do with that just man? 
For I have suffered many things this day in a dream because of him. But the chief priests and the elders, they persuaded the multitude that they should ask for Barabbas and destroy Jesus, mighty God. The governor answered and said unto them, Whether of the twain will he that I release unto you? And they said, Barabbas. Pilate said unto them, What shall I do then with Jesus, this called Christ? They all say unto him, Let him be crucified. Hallelujah. And the governor said, Why? Why? What evil hath he done? But they cried out the more, saying, Let him be crucified. When Pilate saw that he could prevail nothing, but that rather tumult was made, he took water. He washed his hands before the multitude, saying, I am innocent of the blood of this just person. See to it. Then answered all the people and said, His blood be on us and on our children. My God. Then released he Barabbas unto them. And when he had scourged Jesus, he delivered him to be crucified. Then the soldiers of the governor took Jesus into the common hall and gathered unto him the whole band, the whole band of soldiers. And they stripped him and put on him a scarlet robe. And when they had plaited a, a crown of thorns, they put it upon his head and a reed in his right hand. And they bowed the knee before him and mocked him, saying, Hail, King of the Jews. And they spit on him. And they took the reed and they smote him on the head. And after that they had mocked him, they took the robe off from him, put his own raiment on him, and led him away to crucify him. And as they came out, they found a man of Cyrene, Simon by name. Him they compelled to bear his cross. And when they were coming to a place called Golgotha, that is to say, a place of a skull, they gave him vinegar to drink mingled with God and when he had tasted thereof he would not drink and they crucified him and they crucified him and they crucified him and parted his garments casting lots that it might be fulfilled which was spoken by the prophet they parted my garments among them and upon my vesture they did cast lots and sitting down, they watched him there. And set up over his head his accusation written. This is Jesus, the king of the Jews. Then were there two thieves crucified with him. One on the right hand, another on the left. And they that passed by reviled him, wagging their heads and saying, you are thou that destroyest the temple and bless it in three days. Save thyself. If you, if thou be the son of God, come down from the cross. Somebody say he went all the way. Likewise also the chief priest mocking him with the scribes and elders said, he saved others. Himself he cannot save. If he be the king of Israel, let him now come down from the cross. And we will believe him. He trusted in God. Let God deliver him now, if he will have him. For he said, I am the son of God. The thieves also which were crucified with him 
cast the same in his teeth. Now from the sixth hour there was darkness all over the land unto the ninth hour. And about the ninth hour, hallelujah, Jesus cried with a loud voice, saying, Eli, Eli, Lama Sabachthani, that is to say, my God, my God, why hast thou forsaken me? Some of them that stood there when they heard that, they said, this man call it for Elias. Straightway, one of them ran and took a sponge and filled it with vinegar and put it on a reed and gave him to drink. The rest said, let be, let us see whether Elias will come to save him. Somebody say he went all the way. My God. Jesus, when he had cried again with a loud voice, yielded up the ghost. And behold, the veil of the temple was rent in twain from the top to the bottom. And the hurt did quake and the rocks rent and the graves were open. And many bodies of the saints which slept arose and came out of their graves after his resurrection. And went into the holy city and appeared unto many. Hallelujah. Now when the centurion and they that were with him watching Jesus saw the earthquake, those things that were done, they feared greatly saying, truly, this was the Son of God. Anybody feeling grateful? You want to lift your hands and just start to thank God that he, hallelujah, start to thank Jesus for what he did for you. My God, they put, they put the crown of thorns on his head and they read in his right hand. My God, verse 30 said they spat on him. They took the same reed. My God, when I was reading that last night, they took the reed and hit him in his head. And he just took it. Just for me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank Jesus. you, Jesus. He did it just for me. Thank you, Lord. Just for me. Come on, just raise your hands and just thank him. Just give him the praise. Hallelujah. 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 He did it just for me. Just for me, Jesus died. He went all the way. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. All the way to Calvary went for me. He went for me he went for me Thank you, Jesus. 
Thank you, Jesus. Before Sister Cole come with the announcements, you may be seated. Hallelujah. Today is a day of reflection. And when we reflect, we will just give thanks. So if you feel like jumping up and saying, thank you, Jesus, that's all right. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You know, I was just thinking about how Jesus died for me. And I say me because I can only speak for myself. Because even today, some people still don't believe that Jesus died for them. And you know, I was saying every drop of blood, mighty God, that he shed, he shed it for me. They have a lot of wealthy people in this world. A lot of wealthy people. They can buy anything. A yacht, a hotel, anything. And pastor, I think some of them are in this assembly too, you know. A lot of wealthy people. Yes, they have a lot of money. But the money that they have would not pay for our sins. Never. All the money in the World Bank could never pay for ours, for my sins. And when I think of the goodness of Jesus, why he, he loved me so much that he went to the cross. Brother Kennedy said he went all the way. Hallelujah. He did not give up, mighty God, because he saw me. Hallelujah. He saw my sins. Hallelujah. He knew I didn't have the money to pay for my sins. No one could have done it. But he shed his blood on Calvary. Hallelujah. And today I am eternally grateful because I was a sinner. I was wrapped up and tied up in sins. My sins were many. They could not hold in this building. They were many. But I am grateful today for the cross. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. And I just want to give God thanks today. And I just ask that we continue to worship him, not just for today. But today we'll take a time to reflect on the old rugged cross. That he endured the cross. Hallelujah. He despised the shame. And he took our sins away. God bless you. Let us just worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. Somebody shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Sister Cole will be coming at this time with a welcome in Jesus' name. Thank you, Sister Green. And can we praise the Lord, everybody? Bless the Lord again, everybody. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Trust for me. Trust for me, my Jesus died. Hallelujah. And I'm so grateful today because I have forgiveness of sins. Amen, everybody. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And not just for me, but for all of us. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Today is a blessed day. A very good day. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That we are just giving God thanks for what you have done for us. In the name of the Lord Jesus. God has been so good to us. Hallelujah. That he died for us. Mighty God. And because of that today, we all can have, uh, my God, Jesus for ourselves. Amen, everybody. Mighty God. I don't have to ask you and you and you. I have him for myself. Uh, what a God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Today it's a pledge of mine again. Hallelujah. To greet our pastor. Hallelujah. Bishop Dale Fisher. Thank you, Jesus. And his wife, Sister Nardia Fisher. And their daughter, daughter, Sister Daniel Fisher, in the name of the Lord. Give them a clap, everybody. Yes, I hear it coming on. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. And to all our ministers and their spouses that are here today, all our deacons, thank you, Jesus. Ella Carlos Reynolds, in the name of the Lord Jesus. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. And all our members, can our members just shout hallelujah, praise unto our God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. And all our children that are here, thank you, Jesus. And our visitors, whether you're here for the very first time or you're a regular visitor, we welcome you and we greet you in the name of the Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. I have one visitor here with us, and as I call your name, I'm going to ask you to stand. We have Mike Francis, Mr. Mike Francis. God bless you, sir. Thank you very much for coming. In the name of the Lord. And we have Sister Elaine Gardner from Canada. The Lord bless you, ma'am. It's not the first time she's here. But we want to give God thanks for her. And all those who are viewing via live stream, the Lord bless you. Thank you for taking the time 
to be in our service today and I know there's a blessing there for you in the name of the Lord Jesus thank you Jesus thank you Jesus thank you Lord now at this time I'll just do the notices for the rest of this week thank you Jesus now immediately after service today the care services department will be having a bond sale amen bond sale and also they'll be having their pantry distribution so all those who need a little item to you know you can go to the multi-purpose hall and you will be given a bag and remember saints support 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 the bond sale amen everybody good thank you very much and in the e evening at 6 p.m will be our will be our god bless you and you are going to come and we are going to really support the youth department amen everybody now tomorrow morning at 6 a.m we'll be having our early morning prayer meeting and remember now for sunday sunday will be easter sunday amen yes and please listen to rightly divide in the word and that will be aired on fame 95 fm or online fame 95 fm.com at 6 a.m sunday school begins at 9 30 a.m and we know it will be double attendance drive please invite your neighbors family members and friend and a blessing awaits you and if we have we want to double our sunday school attendance amen everybody so let us try to find somebody and take them to sunday school in the name of the lord please note there will be one sunday school class in the sanctuary now we stand in our community sunday schools at the Ben shop in 14th street and at michelle's shop in my town will still be at 9 30 a.m and we come to worship the lord sunday morning at 11 a.m sunday morning worship service in the name of the lord in the name of the lord now it will be fifth sunday and there will be no evening service that will be held in this sanctuary so we have sunday evening to rest amen now for our upcoming events next week monday that's monday coming will be easter monday april 1 and the united pentecostal churches of Jam pentecostal annual youth rally will begin at 8 30. so upcj's pentecostal annual ra youth rally will begin at 8 30 a.m and this will be held at the church of god of prophecy 41 old harbor road saint catherine registration fees ages 5 to 11 years will be $1,000 ages 12 and over will be $1,200 and remember interested persons please speak with your youth leaders in the name of the Lord now for our upcoming event universities and colleges apostolic ministry you come annual weekend retreat will be held right here from Friday April 12 to Sunday April 14 2024 advisory sister rosemary williams wife of minister moses williams has lost her mother please remember sister and brother in their in their difficult time of grief and pray for the family too that they will be strengthened in the name of the lord our prayer request whatsapp and text message lines are as follows 876 three two six five nine four one and that's flow eight seven six four two one seven four nine eight and that's digital the lord bless you today as we continue to remember that it was for you and i that jesus died god bless you in the name of the lord hallelujah thank you jesus thank you sister cole at this time we'll be collecting is offering offering time we're still in church. Come on. Every time we come into the hall to take an offering. Can you stand at this time? We'll ask Sister Cole to bless the day. Stand everywhere. Thanks. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Lord, we love you today. Lord, we honor you today. Hallelujah. Lord, we thank you for your goodness and your kindness and your mercies. Lord, we thank you for your favor, mighty God. 
We thank you for bringing us all here today in your sanctuary one more time just to worship, just to lift holy hands and just to give you thanks in the name of the Lord for all you have done for us in the name of Jesus. Lord, you died for us so that we could have life and have it more abundantly and we just want to tell you thanks, dear God. Thank you, hallelujah, for what you have done. And at this time, dear God, we'll be collecting our offering in the name of the Lord Jesus. We are asking to bless it, Lord. Hallelujah. We ask him to bless those who have in the name of the Lord and those who don't have, bless them too, that they too will give another time and give themselves in the name of the Lord. Father God, let the peace of God rest upon us today. Be with us, guide us throughout the rest of the day as we say thanks. In Jesus' name we pray. King of my life, I crown thee now, thine shall the glory be, lest I forget thy thorn crown bright.
Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. So many times we feel like giving up, but just remember Calvary. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. He did it just for me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on, let's just praise him one more time. Hallelujah. He went all the way for us. So we can still praise him. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. You deserve all our praise. I am grateful. We started the extension Sunday school in Love Lane. And last week I was there with the students. And I got the news this morning that one of the child, one of the children, fell on Friday night or Wednesday night, I think it was. Fell, she broke her arm, and right now she is in the hospital. Jesus' blood was shed for her healing. And I'm just going to ask everyone to remember her in your prayer. Um, because we know that the devil doesn't like what is going on. But we serve the God who is bigger than all our problems. Hallelujah. And he has a solution because he went to Calvary. Hallelujah. And he shed his blood for us. God bless you. At this time, we'll ask our pastor, Bishop Dale Fisher, to come with the church in Jesus. Thank you, Sister Green. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord, everybody. Surely it's good to be here today on this, you may be seated, on this Friday morning. We're giving God thanks that he has enabled us to be in his presence. I just want to greet everyone, greeting all the saints, all the ministers, and a special greetings and welcome to the visitors who are here with us today. We're extremely happy to have you worshiping with us on this, what is called Good Friday. And it's a good Friday anyway. Amen. It's a good day. If we are not celebrating that Jesus was died, that Jesus died on a um, necessarily on a Good Friday, we're celebrating the fact that He died for us. And and every opportunity we get to celebrate that, we should make full use of it. Whether we believe He died on a Friday or not, the fact that we are celebrating it is death. We should come and give God praise. Amen, somebody. Come on, somebody. Praise him. Hallelujah. We should never let ourselves get in the way, but always put the focus on the reason we're here. We will celebrate the fact that Jesus died. Amen. Praise God. And so we're just grateful today. We're just grateful. And Jesus himself declared in St. John, 12 and verse 32, he said, I, if I be lifted up from the earth, I will draw all men, all men. That word men is not, I've been speaking of a masculine gender, but people, everybody, human race, human beings. So if you're a woman, he said, if you be lifted up from the earth, he will draw you unto him also. And he was referring primarily to his his death on the cross when he said if I be lifted up he was speaking he was looking forward to the day when he would die on Calvary's cross but his words saying that if I be lifted up from the earth it also include the resurrection and ascension it's not just only his death on the cross but the fact that he resurrected and ascended also is encapsulated in those words and so we, tonight, this morning, must understand that Jesus' death, resurrection, and ascension are all linked to the glorious exaltation and the drawing of sinners to himself. Because if he had only died and never wasn't resurrected, it would have been no, of no use to us. And if he didn't leave and send the comforter, if he didn't ascend and send the comforter, we would have no hope today. Hallelujah. So his lifting up is all linked to his death, his, ascension, his resurrection, and his ascension. So we ought to praise him for that. Praise God. 
But understand this that the centerpiece, the centerpiece, the, the cross is the centerpiece of the gospel. It is a magnetizing power or force of Christianity. That is what pulls people to Jesus. The fact that he died for us. Hallelujah. I am looking at some people today as if you don't understand what it is that Jesus did for you. When he took your place on Calvary, he had no sins of his own, but he took upon the God. The Bible says that the Lord put upon him the sins of all of us and he carried the weight of the cross to Calvary. Somebody ought to praise him. We must understand, brothers and sisters, that when we talk about the weight of the cross, the weight of the cross that Jesus had to carry to Calvary, Sister Sheridan, is more than the 70 pound patibulum that he put on his back. But with the weight of the cross had to deal with all the sins of man, the billions of people that would live after then he was carrying our weight of sin with him. It was more than just a physical cross, but when he looked at what was put upon him and he looked ahead and he saw you sister Robinson he said I gotta go I gotta go I might feel tired in the body my body might can't bring it up but I got to go I got to go I see some people 2,000 years later that's gonna come to love me because of what I did and on this good Friday morning I want to praise God for what he did on Calvary Oh God Almighty, somebody said, just for me, just for me, he bore the weight of the cross, just for me, he suffered and died, just for me. And I'm grateful today. I am grateful. Somebody said, thank you, Jesus. Oh, praise God, you made it seated. Oh God, I... I don't want us to get it twisted today. It's no ordinary day. We are saying thank you Jesus that you died on Calvary's cross that I might have a hope. Oh Jesus. So Jesus is death. When he died on the cross it was important. It was to appeal to all men was to draw all men, no class, no status, no nationality, no, no gender or group of persons was exempted from this pulling. It doesn't matter what status you are in, what, where you are. The, cross, the power of the cross has the ability to pull you to him. Hallelujah. And I'm grateful that some 40 plus years ago, my God, I was wrapped up in sin. But I heard about Jesus' love and how he took my place on Calvary's cross. And that had the ability to draw me to him. And because of that, I'm experiencing grace and mercy today. And I'm grateful for his love. I'm grateful. Woo. Listen to me. The cross, brothers and sisters. At the cross we encounter God's love and his mercy. At the cross we encounter justice. At the cross we encounter power. At the cross we encounter salvation. We encounter justice because we see through justice we see the judgment of sin took place at the cross. We encounter love and mercy at the cross. And I'm glad that I had such an encounter with love and mercy. Because we must understand, brothers and sisters, mercy is God keeping from us what we truly deserve. He didn't allow us to get what we deserve. You and I were deserving to die. But when Jesus took the cross, he replaced oh God. He didn't give us what we truly deserve. So sometimes we don't even understand that when we said mercy rewrote my name. What really happened brothers and sisters is that you were deserving to die. But when God showed us mercy, he gave 
get from us uh, what we really deserve uh, and I want somebody to understand uh, that it's because of what he did on Calvary and he didn't stop there but because of the cross he gave us grace uh, what's grace uh, grace is God giving us more than we deserve uh, so in mercy he kept from us what we deserve and then he showed us grace by giving us more than what we deserve you don't deserve to be sitting in his presence uh, but because of his grace uh, he came God Almighty somebody praise God in the house of man somebody praise him uh, and thank him God bless you today in Jesus name
testify about the saving power of the blood of Jesus. Hallelujah. And today we're going to ask Sister Tia Brown to come and she will testify of the saving power of Jesus. Can the blood wash shout a hallelujah? Glory, hallelujah to our King of Kings. Praise the Lord. Today I'm here to testify of the saving power of Jesus. Praise God. Today it's nothing good that I have done to be in the presence of Almighty God. Praise God, I was a sinner, wretched sinner. I was a young, bad teenage girl. But God in his mercies and his splendor, hallelujah, his blood wash my sins away I was a drink I was a smoker praise the Lord I used to cheat bad word from no everything if one sentence what more time out a bad word if it end a bad word but God has washed my sins away hallelujah and today he can do the same for you his blood is still efficacious hallelujah and so today I just give Jesus to you. Hallelujah. God bless you in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Somebody shout hallelujah. Come on. If you're free, shout hallelujah. If you remember Calvary, shout hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. If you believe in the blood of Jesus, 
Say hey, thank you, Jesus. Jesus, Jesus. What a, what a wonderful name. Jesus, everything is wrapped up in that name. Hallelujah. Somebody shout that name again. Somebody shout that name. My God, my God, my God. Hallelujah. My God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Brethren, let us not be ashamed of the gospel of Christ because Jesus paid his blood for it. And we need to walk in our sonship, mighty God. We are royal priests, would you know? We are special people. Look here, you're not looking at me like I'm talking Chinese. I say we are special people. Jesus' blood is so special. And his sisters jump up and show Jesus. Shout it again. Yes. We are special. Somebody else over here, jump up and shout Jesus. Shout it again. Somebody round the back, jump up and shout. Shout it again. Somebody here, jump up and shout. Shout it again. Somebody over here. Shout it again. Mighty God, hallelujah, hallelujah. Jesus. My God, thank you, Jesus. I am sure if you were calling Pastor Fisher and everybody has shout, Pastor, 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 you would have said, all right, yeah, we're not confused. It's not now, not true. But we can call Jesus anytime. Everybody shout Jesus! Shout Jesus! Hallelujah! Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. You died just for me, Lord. And I'm grateful. Thank you, Jesus. We're not just making noise. We're not just making noise. Because there is still power in the name of Jesus. So we're not making noise. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. And I know that when I call that name Jesus, I am calling it for my family. I am calling the name Jesus for my family. Because I have some brothers and sisters wrapped up and tied up in sin me left them in a sin and me come out and I'm still calling Jesus to rescue them from their sins so you stay there now open your mouth and call Jesus for your family call Jesus for your children hallelujah thank you Jesus thank you Jesus hallelujah we are creatures of time we are creatures of time so if we follow the spirit we don't leave here today hallelujah bless God at this time before the speaker comes, we're going to ask the choir to minister. We're going to ask the choir to minister. Yes, choir, we're going to minister in the name of Jesus. Choir, praise team. Yes, in Jesus' name. What does the cross of Jesus mean? It's more than songs we sing Much more than that emblem on your chain But it means I'm free From the chains of slavery And the blood that shed won't let my sins remain upon the cross my Savior died the Lamb was crucified showed us love that this world had never known oh what love
Raise your hands and thank the Lord today. Thank you, Jesus. 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 Just to me, God, thank you. Praise Jesus. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. beautiful atmosphere of worship. It's my pleasure to invite to this podium to speak to us. Then it's a Dwight Green as Lord has done in his heart. In Jesus' name, just open the mouth and praise the God as he comes. In Jesus' name, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Just for me. Just for me. you. Please take your Bibles as we look at the word of the Lord from Hebrews chapter 9. Hebrews chapter 9 verses 22 to 28. In 
the name of Jesus. And while you're finding it, let me greet Pastor Bishop Dale Fisher, all the ministers, Elder Carlos Reynolds, all the other ministers, saints of God, friends, well wishers, those watching online. I greet you, the precious name of Jesus. That very name that washed my sins away. Hallelujah. The blood of Jesus. Hallelujah. That did it just for me. Praise God. Hallelujah. And almost all things are by the law, purged with blood. And without shedding of blood is no remission. It was therefore necessary that the patterns of things in the heavens should be purified with these. But the heavenly things themselves with better sacrifices than these. For Christ is not entered into the holy places made with ants, which are the figures of the true, but unto heaven itself, now to appear in the presence of God for us. Nor yet that he should offer himself often, as a high priest entereth into the holy place every year with blood of others. For then must be often have suffered since the foundation of the world. But now, once in the end of the world, hath he appeared to put away sin by the sacrifice of himself. Somebody say himself. And as it is appointed unto men once to die, but after this the judgment, so Christ was once offered to bear the sins of many. Him shall he appear the second time without sin unto salvation. Bow your heads. Father, we are grateful for your blood. We thank you for this opportunity to stand one more time in your house. Lord, speak to us today. Use me, Lord. I avail myself to you. Let your will be done. Let your kingdom come as we give you glory, honor, and praise. Everybody say in Jesus' name. God bless you. You may be seated. But look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, look what Jesus did when he washed me. Come on, tell three persons, look what Jesus did. Look what Jesus did. Look what Jesus did. Hallelujah. Just for me, Jesus died. Hallelujah. Uh, the death and burial of Jesus Christ is the only death that is celebrated and one which we are actually happy for. Hallelujah. Glory to God. When our loved ones die and are no longer with us, we become sad. We mourn. We feel angry, we feel confused, we begin to ask questions, why Lord, why me Lord, why do I have to go through this loss, hallelujah, but we can say we did not lose Jesus, as we hear oh sister so and so has lost her mommy and sister so and so mother has passed but we can say today that Jesus died just for me and why we can say that Jesus died just for me hallelujah because it was intentional and we are not sad because of the death of Jesus so we can say death because we know that death has no sting hallelujah Oh, glory to God. We can ask the question, oh, death, we're glory to God. Hallelujah. Once we have a hope in Christ, Jesus died. Hallelujah. Praise God. 
Now, please remember, Youth Talent Expo this evening. Praise God. Let me just slip that in for free. Amen. As I mentioned, hope. Those of you on hope know the scripture for hope. Amen. I know I'm on faith, so I can say, now faith is the substance of things hoped for. Hallelujah. I hope you know hope and love. Amen. We'll see you tonight. Praise God. So we have that hope. Hallelujah. And we have faith in God because God loved us. Somebody shout hallelujah. Uh, today is actually a good Friday because Jesus died in my place. Somebody say in my place. Jesus did it just for me. Hallelujah. Jesus gave his life for mine because he loves me. Yeah. And I'm so glad he paid the price for my sins and he forgave me. Somebody say me. Yeah. Can you personalize it and say just for me? I don't know about my neighbor. I know about me. Hallelujah. And I'm so glad that Jesus came and died for my sins. Hallelujah. I am the one who committed the sin, so I am the one who deserves uh, the punishment. Uh, hallelujah. Glory to God. The wages of sin is death. Uh, oh, glory to God. I was condemned to die, but Jesus, uh, he took my place. I'm so glad. Uh, oh, glory to God. Hallelujah. Can I testify today? Yeah. I hear the song man say, can I borrow a line from the song? Amen. That says, my heart was distressed neath Jehovah's dread frown. And lo, in the sin where my sins dragged me down. I cried, oh glory to God, to the Lord, from the deep miry clay, who tenderly, he brought me out, hallelujah, to golden day, he brought me out of the miry clay, he planted my feet, hallelujah, and a rock to stay, oh glory to God, he put a song in my soul today a song of praise somebody shout hallelujah a song of praise i'm feeling good this good friday i don't feel sad i don't feel no way sad hallelujah today is a good day because jesus somebody shout jesus jesus died so i'm alive today because of Jesus, somebody shout hallelujah. Uh, oh, glory to God. Uh, so the, today is a good Friday. Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, it is a good Friday. Because Jesus died for me. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Uh, a song of praise. Uh, uh, I wish I could sing whole day when we were singing that song a while ago I wish I could just sing because when I think of the goodness of Jesus and all that he has done for me my soul cries out hallelujah somebody shout hallelujah hallelujah mm. so today is a good day I'm feeling happy. Oh, glory to God. Amen, somebody. But well, listen to this. Some, I, I was disturbed because I heard someone say that they don't do Good Friday. They don't believe in Good Friday. And that person is a born-again Holy Ghost Christian. They don't do Good Friday. They don't celebrate Good Friday because Jesus did not die on a Friday. That is what they are saying. Hallelujah. Because they say that from Friday afternoon to Sunday morning is not three days. So they are trying to reason out the works of God. But can I tell somebody that whether Jesus died on a Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, or Friday, the fact of the matter is, Pastor Fisher, that Jesus died. Look at your name and say, Jesus died. Jesus died. 
And I'm so glad that Jesus died. Hallelujah. So let them say what they want to say. And talk about horse dead and cow fat. Hallelujah. You know what? But Jesus died. And I'm so glad. So we set aside a day to focus on his death, his burial, and we set aside another day for his resurrection. Because you heard Pastor Fisher mention that if Jesus Christ be lifted up, just as Moses lifted up the serpent in the wilderness, he declared that if I be lifted up from the cross and men would look on me, look on him, their sins would be remitted, they would be healed. Just like when they looked on the serpent in the wilderness, their sins were forgiven and they were healed. So Jesus declared that if he be lifted up from this earth on the cross, hallelujah, oh glory to God, he will draw all men unto me. But again, when he was lifted up, out of the tomb hallelujah on a resurrection Sunday he lifted up himself from the earth and he will draw all men unto him I'm so glad that Jesus drew me one day I was sinking deep in sin but Jesus drew me hallelujah and answered the call and I can say thank God for the blood is there any grateful person in the house that wants to say thank God for the blood thank God so today indeed is a good Friday it's not a black Friday you might see me in black but it is a good Friday ah, and I'm feeling so good but why is the death of Jesus Christ so important I mean there are other significant days on the Christian calendar. We have Christmas and people celebrate the birth of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Amen, somebody. We have the Passover and we have many feasts. But Jesus' death is extremely important. Oh, glory to God. Because in dying he shed his blood for my sins. Hallelujah. So Jesus had to die. Because if Jesus didn't die, then my sins would not be washed away. Hallelujah. I would be still living in sin. Oh, glory to God. So Jesus had to die. Jesus had to die. But the Roman soldiers did not kill Jesus. Jesus laid down his life for us he did it just for me hallelujah deacon kennedy he could have called ten thousand angels oh glory to god but he did it just for you just for me just for us he laid down his life he gave himself as a living sacrifice holy and acceptable hallelujah that is why he demands of us uh, our glory to God because we need to be like Christ because Christ was our perfect example uh, hallelujah so just like how he came and he was baptized by John the Baptist uh, hallelujah we need to be baptized also in the name of Jesus uh, hallelujah Jesus did it just for us for our example so as he laid down his life for us we should lay down his life our life for him and for our brothers. Let me get into the word. The children of Israel in the Old Testament offered up sacrifices. Somebody say sacrifices. They offered up sacrifices for their sins to be remitted or removed, to be washed away. They offered pigeons and lambs and bullocks and goats and all various kinds of animals because they wanted their sins to be remitted. And these animals had to be spotless and without 
blemish. Hallelujah. Hence the writer of the book of Hebrews states that without the shedding of blood, there is no remission or removal of sins. But this method being done every year. Hallelujah. Glory to God. It had its imperfections in that it had to be done year after year after year repeatedly every year. Oh, glory to God. I'm so glad I didn't live in that time. Hallelujah. Because I could not afford so many goats and lambs because my sins ah, were so high. Hallelujah. So imagine a sacrifice was being offered for my sins today. Today, Friday morning, March 29. If I told five lies and stole two lambs and I failed to forgive my brother from last year this time... My sins would still be on my mind. I would still be going around with a guilty conscience for one year. Hallelujah. I would still have my brother in my heart. Ah, oh, God, not forgiving my brother. Hallelujah. Because my sins were not washed away. Hallelujah. And I had to wait, oh, glory to God, and get a lamb in the temple and go through the money changers and change my money and buy the lamb and go to the high priest and ask for it to be sacrificed that my sins could be remitted. Uh, oh, glory to God. There were so many lambs that were slain. Uh, uh, God, over the years. So Jesus had to do something about it. Uh, hallelujah. My sins were so great. Imagine. Uh, hallelujah. The greater the sin was the greater the sacrifice. So if I committed murder, I had to give a huge sacrifice. Different from if I just told a little lie. Yeah. But can I tell somebody that a little lie and a murder is still sin? S-I-N. Sin spells the same way. Hallelujah. And all my sins would still be upon me. So if I died, my sins would be carried with me to the devil's hell. Well, the Bible declares that the lamb was slain from the foundation of the world. So God in his omniscience and wisdom had already made a way for you and for me. Glory to God. We received a glimpse of what was to come when Abraham prophesied to Isaac in Genesis 22 verses 8 to 13. God had instructed Abraham to offer his only son as a sacrifice. Somebody say sacrifice. Hallelujah. Isaac said, Dad, I see the fire. Dad, I see the wood. But Dad, I don't see the sacrifice. Hallelujah. The lad was so observant. But Abraham said unto Isaac, my son, God will provide himself, somebody say himself, himself a lamb for a burnt offering. Oh, hallelujah, God will provide himself in the name of Jesus. That same lamb which we know as a lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. The prophet Isaiah also got a glimpse in Isaiah 53 and verse 5 when he declared that he was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace was upon him. And with his stripes we are healed. Somebody say healed. All we like sheep have gone astray and we have turned everyone, somebody say everyone, to his own way. But the Lord hath laid on him. Ah, oh, thank you. The Lord hath laid it upon himself. Hallelujah. I'm so thankful that the Lord laid it upon him, the iniquity of us all. Somebody say all. All of our sins he bore it. He was oppressed and he was afflicted, yet he opened not his mouth. He is brought as a lamb to the slaughter and as a sheep before her shearers is dumb. So he opened not his mouth. He did not murmur nor complain. Hallelujah. He did it all. He went all the way. Somebody say all the way. He was taken from prison and from judgment. 
mount and who shall declare his generation for he was cut off out of the land of the living for the transgression of my people was he stricken and he made his grave with the wicked my God hallelujah he made his grave with the wicked my God my Jesus who knew no sin he made his grave with the wicked and with the rich in his death because he had done no violence neither was any deceit in his mouth but yet it pleased the Lord to bruise him he hath put him to grief when thou shalt make his soul an offering for sin for my sin for your sins for the sins of the entire world oh glory to God and as we go down through the annals of time hallelujah we pick it up with John the Baptist hallelujah when John the Baptist was preaching and he was baptizing oh glory to God the next day John the Baptist saw Jesus and he got a glimpse and declared in St. John chapter 1 verse 29 he said behold the Lamb of God which taketh away the sins of the world John the Baptist did not see the death of Jesus but it was revealed to him Isaiah had prophesied it so he knew that he was a Lamb of God hallelujah one shall come after John the Baptist he declares that is greater than him or oh, praise the name of Jesus. He was uh, the Lamb of God. Oh, hallelujah. But Jesus himself declared it best in St. John 12, verse 23, when Jesus answered them and said, The hour is come that the Son of Man be glorified. Oh, hallelujah. Verily I say unto you, watch this, except a corn of wheat fall into the ground and die. Somebody say die. Yeah. except a corn of wheat mm, glory fall into the ground and die it abideth alone but if it die it bringeth forth much fruit somebody say much fruit much fruit look at us now we are much fruit all because of one man who died the grain of corn of wheat fell into the ground and died so it bear much fruit hallelujah thank God that he died Jesus died for sins his death has brought forth much fruit hallelujah somebody praise him in the house of the Lord all the sins of the billions of people that ever lived and that will ever live. Jesus' blood is still efficacious to wash all, somebody say all, all of our sins away. Hallelujah. Oh, glory to God. Jesus was and still is the ultimate sacrifice, which was required once and for all to wash away the sins of the entire world. He was without sin and hence spotless and without blemish. Somebody praise the Lord today. Jesus realized his purpose here on earth was to be born. Hallelujah. And to die. Oh, glory to God and although his flesh was not willing to die hallelujah to suffer and to die hallelujah and get seven in his garden he said father not my will but thy will be done when I look down the line I have to do it when I see sister Angela Wallace Lord God Almighty I have to die when I look down and I see sister Robinson I have to shed my blood hallelujah I have to die I have to do it I got to do it I got to do it Jesus got to do it oh glory to God and I'm so glad that Jesus did it somebody shout hallelujah Jesus did it Jesus did it Jesus did it it. Mm. Jesus did it. Hallelujah. So all my sins, Jesus' blood can wash it. Can you name a sin that Jesus' blood can wash? Hallelujah. Oh, glory to God. Fornication can wash it. Adultery can wash it. Lasciviousness Got it. Envy 
Jesus' blood got it. Tiki, malice and strife, he can wash it. Come on, look at your neighbor and say, Jesus can wash it. There is no sin that Jesus' blood can wash. Whether it be you be a homosexual or what kind of sexual, Jesus can pick you up and turn you around. He can plant your feet on higher ground. There is no sin that Jesus' blood can wash. Oh God, what can wash away my sin? Nothing but the blood of Jesus. Hallelujah. What can make me whole again? Nothing but the blood of Jesus. Oh, precious mm, is the flow. That makes Akashama me white. No other. No. No, 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 no. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Lift your hands and say thank you for your blood, Jesus. Hallelujah. Mmm. Jesus, I thank you. Hallelujah. When Jesus looked down the line and he was in the garden of Gethsemane and the weight and the agony was upon him. Ah, glory to God, he began to sweat. Ah, till his sweats became as drops of blood. They have a medical term for it. I don't remember it right now. But when he, you're so stressed out sometimes, some funny things happen to the body. Jesus bore the weight of billions of people. Oh, glory to God. Hallelujah. But he had to do it. He had to do it. And when he saw Judas, his disciple, betrayed him. Although he had to do it. And he sold into his captors for 30 pieces of silver because he had to do it. Because it was ordained. Because Jesus had to die. Peter, another of his disciples, denied him thrice. Hallelujah. He was tried and sentenced to death by crucifixion. Because they had to do it. Hallelujah. Because Jesus had to die. Oh, glory to God. He was declared. Hallelujah. To Pilate. And Pilate says, I have nothing to do with this man. Hallelujah. Oh, glory to God. And they asked that Barabbas be released. Because it had to be so. It had to be so. Hallelujah. Parabas, a wicked murderer, was set free because of Jesus. You and I were sinking deep in sin, but we were set free. Hallelujah. Just like Barabbas, uh, only because of Jesus. Uh, hallelujah. When we look today, how oh, we looking nice and cute, uh, but we were wrapped up and tangled and tied up in sin. Hallelujah, Sister Brown. Uh, I don't know about some of you, but I was tangled in sin, Sister Green. Uh, but Jesus took my place. Uh, hallelujah. Just like Barabbas, uh, I was set free. I was released and death was pronounced upon my Lord. They clothed him with purple, signifying royalty. Hallelujah. They plaited a crown of thorns upon his head because he was a king. But they were mocking him. Hallelujah. And they began to salute him, saying, Hail, King of the Jews. And they bowed down to him. But they did not understand what they were doing, but they were still bowing. Because every knee shall bow, and every tongue shall confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. So whether you want to do it in joke or in jest, you got to bow. You got to bow. Hallelujah. They smote him on the head with a reed. They spat upon him. God Almighty. And those Roman soldiers, they drank and smoked and their mouth was filthy. 
So when they spat upon him, it can't be anything good. Hallelujah. Oh, glory to God. They mocked him and took all the purple from him and put on his own clothes on him and they led him out to crucify him. Hallelujah. But the cross was so heavy, Bishop Fisher. Ah, 70 pounds, I believe. Hallelujah. So when Jesus was walking with that 70 pound cross, hallelujah, after he was tormented and tortured the night before, and they led him out early in the morning, Jesus did not get any rest. He was so stressed out, hallelujah, because of our weight of sin. Oh, glory to God. And they beat him. It was not any belt that they used to beat him. Hallelujah. Scourge him and beat him. Hallelujah. That whip had on teeth at the end. Was that what Bishop of Flagrum? Flag yes. I'm, I'm studying it. I'm praise God. Hallelujah. I listen to the word. Hallelujah. They beat him and when they flogged him and the teeth clawed into his flesh, they just pull it out. Hallelujah. And clumps of flesh was pulled out from his back. Hallelujah. So he was tired with the weight of sin, the weight of the cross, and the beat in his blood was flowing. Hallelujah. He was weak. In Isaiah, there was no beauty in him that we should behold him. That's what he declared. Hallelujah. They led him to be crucified. But they saw Simon of Cyrene. And they demanded that he help to carry the cross. They led him to the place of Golgotha, which is being interpreted the skull, the place of skull. They gave him to drink wine mingled with myrrh, but he received it not. Hallelujah. And when they had crucified him, they parted his garments, casting lots. They gambled for his garments. Oh, God. But the Bible says at the third hour of the day, nine o'clock, uh, these people didn't have, have anything to do at their houses. Uh, they just wanted to see Jews, Jesus crucified. Hallelujah. So early nine o'clock in the morning, they crucified him. So I said, Jesus did not get any rest whole night and whole morning, early morning, nine o'clock. They crucified him. They nailed my Jesus on the cross. Uh, I heard a song a long time ago that said, were you there when they crucified my Lord? Oh, sometimes it causes me to tremble when I think about it. Causes me to tremble. Hallelujah. Somebody, you should not take Good Friday lightly. You should not take uh, the blood of Jesus lightly. You should not take the death of Jesus lightly because it was his blood. And he sacrificed his life for us. The two thieves on the cross that could have been me should have been you. But Jesus, hallelujah, glory to God. And the superscription of his accusation was written over the king of the Jews. And with him they crucified two thieves, the one on his right hand and the one on his left. And the Bible says that when the sixth hour was come, that is midday, sixth hour, there was darkness over the whole land until the ninth hour, three o'clock. For three solid hours, there was darkness upon the land. And at the ninth hour, Jesus cried with a loud voice saying, Eli, Eli, lama shabastani, which is interpreted, My God, my God, why hast thou forsaken us? The flesh is crying out. They filled a sponge with vinegar and put it on a He's up. Put it to his mouth. When Jesus drank the vinegar, he said, it is finished. It is finished. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Not because the crucifixion was finished, but the work of redemption Hallelujah, the work of salvation is finished. 
Hallelujah, it was accomplished. Oh, glory to God. Hebrews 9, 24 to 28. We read it earlier. It is finished because Jesus Christ bore the sins of many once and for all. He did it once and for all just for you and for me. Took the sins upon himself. Hallelujah. Bible says, hallelujah, the veil of the temple was rent in twain. It was torn from the top to the bottom. That signifies that it was not done by man because man could have tied horses on the two sides and pulled it from the bottom. From the lower end of the curtain. Hallelujah. The veil. But the Bible says it was rent, torn into from the top of the veil. And those of you who read and study and understand, the veil was very tall. Some persons said 15 feet, some said 30, some said 40 feet high. But it was four inches thick and it was interwoven with different pieces of cloth. Hallelujah. Four inches thick veil. So it was vertically, virtually impossible to be torn. But Jesus did it. Hallelujah. The veil was rent in twain. And why was it rent in twain? Hallelujah. Because it is finished. So no longer we have to go into the high priest to ask him to make a sacrifice for us. We can enter boldly onto the throne of grace and cry unto Jesus and say, Lord, forgive me of my sins. Hallelujah. It is finished. No more lambs and doves and slaughter. Jesus Christ did it once and for all. It is finished. So I have access. Somebody say access. I have access to the throne of God. The partition has been removed. And we can enter in before the throne. Shandai. We can worship God. Hallelujah. And the beauty of holiness. Not only the high priest gets the chance to go into the holy of holies. We can enter in. Hallelujah. And just worship my Savior. In the beauty of holiness, somebody worship the Lord. No longer we need lambs and doves and pigeons. Jesus did it all for us. Somebody praise the Lord. It is finished. Hallelujah. Because the devil tried to kill the seed of the woman, Deacon Kennedy. Thank you. Hallelujah. Oh, glory to God. Over 4,000 years before Jesus. Oh, glory to God. Because he killed Abel. Hallelujah. Oh, glory to God, because he was trying to kill the seed of the woman which came, hallelujah, out of Eve. Oh, glory to God, and we would have Jesus, but he tried to stop Jesus from coming. Hallelujah, to save us from our sins. Hallelujah. The Bible says the devil could not kill the seed because it was a seed of the woman that laid down his life for us. He would bruise his heel, but he could not kill him. Somebody praise God. He could have called 10,000 angels, but Jesus had to die. Jesus had to die. The devil could not stop Jesus from coming because Jesus had to die on the cross. It is finished. The redemptive work of God for man is finished. All we have to do is accept the plan of salvation and be saved. All we have to do is repent of our sins, be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ in water, and arise in newness of life. All we got to do is receive the gift of the Holy Ghost with the initial evidence of speaking in tongues. As the spirit gives utterance, live a holy and righteous life and be totally surrendered unto God. Somebody praise God with me today. 
Jesus did it just for me. Jesus died for me. I am grateful because Jesus did it for me. Somebody say gratefulness is flowing from my heart. I'm glad he died and shed his blood for me. I'm so glad that Jesus did it just for me. I'm so glad that he died in my stead. I am healed because he died. Because with his stripes, I am healed. I am delivered because he died for me. I am set free. Oh, glory to God, just for me died. And who the Son sets free is free indeed. I am saved because he died. I am free. Oh, glory to God, because Jesus did it just for me. Stand to your feet and shout hallelujah. Shout just for me. Shout just for me. Just for me. Just for me. Jesus came and did it just for me. I was sinking deep in sin, far from the peaceful shore. Oh, glory to God. But Jesus, he came and he rescued me. Somebody shout hallelujah. Thank God for the blood. Thank God for the blood. Go ahead and thank him in the house of the Lord. Go ahead and thank him. Go ahead and thank him. Go ahead and praise him. Because Jesus did it just for you and just for me. Aren't you glad that he's oh God just sent uh, hallelujah his word to us today uh, hallelujah because he is the living sacrifice uh, which died for our sins uh, and my sins were washed away is there any grateful persons in the house today we're grateful we're grateful because of the blood of Jesus we're grateful hallelujah Lift your hands and say, Lord, I'm grateful. Greater love hath no man than this. That a man should lay down his life for his friends. I'm so glad I'm a friend of Jesus. And he took my sins away. I came to Jesus weary, worn, and sad. Do we have any sad persons in the house today? Do we have any weary persons in the house today? Do we have anyone who needs strength? I can say Jesus did it. Jesus did it. Over 2,000 years ago on Calvary's cross. And you know what? All you have to do is just come and receive his gift. Hallelujah. His precious gift. Is there anyone here you'd like us to pray with you before we go? We are glad and we are happy that we came today. But we would not want to close this service before we invite someone for prayer. Just to give God thanks that he shed his blood for you. Hallelujah. And while they come, saints, just come with them and pray. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. God bless you, my brother. Hallelujah. God bless you, my sister. Hallelujah. Come, saints. Let's pray with them. Hallelujah. Jesus. Jesus. Lift your hands while you come and just say, Lord, I'm grateful. Those at the altar say, Lord, I'm grateful. Come, saints. Hallelujah. Come, saints. Jesus. We are grateful that Jesus shed his blood for us. For there are those here, Shandamasa. That's the power of the Lord. That's the blood of Jesus. Hallelujah. Jesus. Jesus. Come, saints. Jesus. 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 Just call that name. Jesus, 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 hallelujah, Jesus, 
Hallelujah. I was sinking deep in sin, far from the peaceful shore. Very deeply staying within, seeking to rise no more. But Loves you. Jesus loves you. When nothing else could help, love lifted me. Jesus loves you. That's why he died. Jesus loves you. That's why he died. He lifted me out of sin. goodness of Jesus right where you are just close your eyes and just think how Jesus loves you. no matter what you're going through Jesus loves you 
Jesus. Oh, he loves me. He loves me. Oh, he lifted me. Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Massa, Jesus, glory. Shama Massa, Elo Massa, Kataba, Shanda Lava Massa. God for the blood. Thank God. Thank God. Thank God. Ah, Jesus. Thank God for the blood. Jesus. 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 Ah, what a good God. 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 Jesus. Jesus completely saves. Mm. Hello. Souls in danger. Soul in danger. Look above. Jesus completely saves. Jesus. Jesus. Be saved today. Be saved today. Hallelujah. Jesus. Hallelujah. Stand everywhere. Stand everywhere as we dismiss. Ah, oh, what an awesome presence of the Lord. What an awesome presence of the Lord. Hallelujah. Jesus. Abba Father, we are grateful. Gratefulness is flowing from our hearts. We thank you, Almighty God, for your goodness, for your love towards us. You gave your life for us. Yes, Jesus, we are grateful. We thank you that we are alive and we are well. And we are in the house of the Lord. We are alive and we are well. Our faculties are intact. We thank you for the strength that we have received through your word. God Almighty, we're grateful. Ilu Masha. Oh God, as we're about to go from your house, we pray you'll dismiss us with your choicest blessings. Cover us under your blood like you have always done continually. Be with us every step of the way. Let your will be done in our lives. And bring us here tonight again to worship you in another form. Jesus, we glorify your name and we tell you thank you, thank you, thank you. For what you have done, what you're going to do and what you have already done. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Lift your hands. The Lord bless you. The Lord keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you and to be gracious unto you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. Somebody shout hallelujah. For the peace, perfect peace, shout hallelujah. God bless you. Greet each other as you go and remember the goodness of God.